Hello, welcome. We're Dan and Mike. We're here to help you with your online fitness business okay. in any way we can, if possible. Um, yeah, if you if you're new here, go back and watch all the old ones because they're better than this. Uh, this one, you need to get up to speed. Well, that's not good endorsement, is it, for what's about to come? This one's going to be the best one. So scrap that. Watch this one, then go back and watch back catalog because you'll like this one so much. Yeah, so there, I'll edit that out. There you go. Probably won't. Um, My bit. Share it. Uh, <laughs> Cheers. Share it. Everyone. Share it. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's gone from the, the the complete opposite of the Stephen Bartlett thing to just now just like two words. Yeah, that's simple. I, I've made it more efficient, yeah. streamlined it. Streamlined and I, it's business. not actually me saying it; it's my VA. So even better. I mean, yes, but you're not even here. No, you're right. I don't need to be. Here. I'm at home. There you go. Um, VAs I'm, are getting real good these days. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm actually a VA. I'm f- uh, from the Philippines. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, this one we're going to talk about dealing with hate online. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Now, this is an interesting one because I think this is a topic that I think stops a lot of people putting their true self out there online. Um, rightly or wrongly. Like, I think it's just something we all have to deal with. But I do think that a lot of online coaches use it as a concern and a worry. Actually, Suk did a great video on this on his Instagram. It was very sarcastic, um, very dry humor that he has. Um, it was basically on the lines of just saying, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you shouldn't try and build a great business. You shouldn't try and put food on the table just because someone may say something mean on the internet. Um, I've shortened it. It was a bit longer than that. But the, the, you know, the, the doesn't mes- sound like a good video. The message is... <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was. Suck, it was a good video. Um, the he, message he's is, not watching it. He loves it, mate. He's, he's, our, he's our biggest fan. No. Uh, he's not, don't worry. Uh, he ain't got time to watch YouTube. He's too busy uh, in his ice bath. Golfing. Um, I think it's, it's something that people think they're going to get a lot of. Um, when they be themselves. And and do you know what? I'm not even going to lie and say, oh, no, don't worry about it. You won't. You might do. You genuinely might do. Um, it's just important how, how you frame it, how you look at it, how you deal with it. Um, and I think hopefully in this video, we'll talk about some of the things that we've we've dealt with. But then also the reason we're talking about it today is because of I've had a few people that I know, one of the lads in the members group had some and he messaged me about it and asking the questions. One of my clients had something the other day as well. And um, there was a really interesting um, the copywriter I follow. He talked about a lot in an email series recently and and how in the moment it can feel very, very personal and very, very serious and like everyone's going to know about it and everyone knows about it and all this sort of stuff and and ultimately it's never really as big or as bad as you think it is. Um, But I think the most important person to talk to about this is Mike. Because everyone hates Mike. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) He's a very hateable guy, apparently. There you go. That's That's what they say. But no, but like I think... I think it's really important that people know that when you are yourself and you do say the things you really, really want to say, people will not like it. And that's fine. Um, And the angle we're going to take today is talking about it and why people are doing it and why it's important you understand people do it for for a reason. And it's all to do with marketing. It is literally all to do with marketing. Um, And the guy that I'm talking about, I'll set the scene basically. So he's in the members group and he's a younger lad doesn't have as much muscle mass. I can I can sympathize with him entirely. Mm. Um, it was the same fear that I had, to be fair, when I was I was doing fat loss and, and nutrition and, and stuff. It's like, well, I'm not as big as so-and-so, so people aren't going to listen to me, et cetera, et cetera. And this young lad, uh, he's working hard on himself. He trains hard. He has gained muscle, obviously, um, from training that hard, but he's also not maybe where he wants to be, and he's a young lad. And he got called out by this huge bodybuilder who's on all the gear, all the steroids, Videos of him, you know, bench pressing 60, 70 kilo dumbbells. Not, not very well, to be fair. Partial range, but we'll let it slide. Um, and this basically bodybuilder basically made a video of his video, of this this young lad's videos. Did like a remix of them and all this sort of stuff and just tore him to shreds and was like, who's this kid giving out muscle gain advice to people? Who do you think he is? Like, you should probably just get in the fucking gym and train. Um, Jake said similar though. Yeah, so Jake, he's our, our coach. Jake's had had similar again. So his videos have gone really well. The good content, great content, talking about how to gain muscle. And you know, you get people in the comments being like, maybe you should fucking go to the gym first, or try try going to the gym before you give out advice and all this sort of stuff. Um, which you're gonna get because people are stupid online, uh, and they still think you need to have you know done certain things or achieved a certain level before you can talk about it. And I think we're also of the opinion that you should have, to a degree. I, I think, or we, we think, I'll speak for Mike a little bit, is that you need to be able to identify a little bit with your niche struggles somewhat um, and, and think about your, your niche. Um, not to that extreme that obviously I'm talking about like with this guy. Like, but the reason that I was say, explaining to, to this younger lad, the reason this bodybuilder's picked on him is not because I think he's done, he's done anything wrong. 
it's because he's trying to align himself with his audience. He's picking on something that he knows his audience of big bodybuilders or big angry men who just want to shout aloud and lift heavy weights and don't have a life, right? Gosh. Um, he knows that if he posts that video, he's going to get them aligned with him more. That's the only reason he's doing it. I don't think he really has an issue with the, with the young lad. I don't think he really that bothered. It's just he was unfortunately just at that moment in time, the straw that broke the camel's back and he started then making videos about it. Um, but the thing that you have to come back to is who are you trying to help and who's your niche and do they need to hear from you and do you need to step up and keep turning up for them and forget about these morons who will call you out and will do all this sort of stuff. Um, because it, it comes down to it and it comes down to it's just marketing. And that's why this guy, this guy was doing it is to make himself look big in front of his big friends by picking on a little kid, basically. I don't know whether this guy... I don't know whether it was marketing. I think he's just stupid. I think, it, from what I got... Oh, he's just... He's horrible. Like, from, okay. from what I got, I think it was... Um, um, I, I, th I personally think it was coming from a place of he's pissed off that there's skinny guys giving mm. out muscle gain advice. Like, I genuinely think it's from that. Mm. But what you take from that is that this guy won't know he's doing it, but he will be aligning people who yeah. have also got the same opinions because he is being controversial and he is calling something out and he is standing for something and he's probably saying what quite a lot of other people think, rightly or wrongly, there will be other people and, that think like and that. And he is just being himself. And he's being himself. A dick. So that, yeah, a dick. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's where um, you do have to accept at times, I guess, when you are getting some hate or whatever, it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody is going to feel like that. Just this certain section or this certain person or whoever he aligns with. So it is going to be... I mean, it is difficult to put yourself out there. It, it is difficult to put yourself out there, but... Um, but what's the alternative? Um, the That's alternative is, is that you portray yourself as everybody else. And you're not like everybody else. So, like I said, what, what's, what's the alternative? You know, that, that young lad then has to go away, take loads of stories and train for 20 years before he can be an online coach. Yeah. That's the, it's just stupid. But the other thing that I would say is that think about all the people that you can help who would look at that guy and go, he looks, he looks horrific. He looks hideous. Mm. Too big. Too muscly. I don't want to make my life about the gym. I don't, want to go, I don't want to get too big. You're helping those people. So by standing up for yourself and by standing up for what you believe in, you are, again, aligning yourself with your niche your marketing you can use it again for your marketing that look you don't want to end up like these people and i think it's really important that you remember that but the thing that we also want to address here is that when this stuff happens like when you then almost retaliate if that's what you you wanted to do in this in this regard is you almost want to make sure and remember like this guy has been a dick because he's attacked the person it's like it's not the kid's fault like but he could have just said I'm sick and tired of all these small people giving out muscle burden advice, right? And that's a principle that he's picked on, right? It's just kind of like a thing, that, and that's fine. But the fact that he, he took the, the guy's content and put it into his own is, is just too far. I think that's the key thing is that when you do then align people, you know, you align with your audience, you want to make sure that your messages align with them is that you attack the principle. Mm -hmm. You attack the principle, not the actual person. Because as I've said before, not related to this guy, um, but... You know, wonderful people can have moronic ideas. They could be a wonderful person. They could be a great family person. They could be a great person to be around. Could be a great friend. They could just be absolutely moronic in their views and ideas of certain things. And that's what you attack is you attack the moronic idea, <laughs> um, which is often shared by multiple people. To be fair as well. Um, so, like when we talk about stuff, we always talk about principles of things. We don't go, "This person is an idiot." <laughs> 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 we might think it. We might think it. But we don't we don't we don't say that because that's not what it's about. It's about this this principle or this theory is idiotic. Like we, I don't think that flat earth people are are morons in their own right and that they're horrible people. I just think that the way they view the world, quite literally, <laughs> is is wrong. Mm -hmm. Like that's what we talk that's what we talk about all the time. And it's important to remember that distinction, I think, because um I see it done very, very badly, and I see it done that way, and it's a bit, it's a bit much. Yeah, I think we've always had that reputation of 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 being um, almost like we're trolls, or that we slag things off, or that we're the 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 big bodybuilder, you know, um, taking the mick out of the the, the skinny kid. Um, but that's um, 
That's that's never. I think people take it out of context, and people don't realise that when we do it, it, it is marketing, and it's not an attack, and it never has been a, an attack on anybody personally. It is just principles. So even when we were um, marketing towards kind of fat loss, nutrition, training type stuff, the, because we knew our niche so well, um, you then understand. Um, who else that they're following or not following or what they've had experience of. And then you would, or what we would do is we would make a joke, lighthearted way uh, of saying things um, about some of the things that they didn't necessarily need to be doing for them. For example, they might not need to reverse back, uh, reverse band the hack squat or eat cream of rice or wear vibrams or take blood glucose readings or whatever grounding was the best one that video <laughs> or grounding yeah one. like <laughs> they our demographic wouldn't need to right so for us saying you don't need to ground that's us specifically marketing to our niche who don't want to ground that's not to say you are a bad person for grounding or giving advice on grounding or whatever. That it, It's just marketing and aligning people's values with what you're doing. It's not calling anybody out or saying anybody's stupid. But that's what we would do. People used to get a little bit butthurt by it because it was about them. They, they, they then got... Uh, it, or it was principles that they would be following. And that's where they got butthurt. They wouldn't mind if we were slagging off Slimming World. That's fine. I don't mind that, you know, t- taking the mick out of that. Don't mind taking the mick out of CrossFit, that's fine. As soon as we took the mick out of bodybuilders, bodybuilders got upset. Yeah. And, and because they didn't understand it, they, they never understood it. And now that we do a similar type thing with the business side of things, if you notice, we'll never really, well, we'll never ever slag anybody off because it's not our place to. What we'll do is we'll call out principles because once again, in this industry, it's very black and white. Or people make it out to be black and white, just like fat loss. Whereas we know it's shades of grey. So we have some clients who have a VA who don't have a VA. We don't have a VA. We know some of my clients um, take payments in full. Some of them take recurring. I've got some clients who take payment on the call. Some pe- people who take it after. I've got some people who give meal plans as they're coaching. Other people do macro tracking. I've got some people who do um, group coaching. Some people who do just one to one, or some people who do both. Because it shades are great. It's not black and white. So we call out the black and white principles of someone saying you have to charge up front, or you have to have a VA, or you have to have a sales team, or you have to do this or that or the other or the other. And all we're saying is, you don't. Because you can't disprove that we're wrong because we've done it without X, Y, and Z. And then because we're disproving those things, people are then getting again a little bit butthurt because they're following those principles. We're just demonstrating why the principles don't, you know, don't always work or are not always applicable or that there is another way. We're not saying you must do this or you mustn't do that. We would never say that. We would weigh up all the options, the pros, the cons, and then find the best fit for the for the for the relevant person. That's that's for me what a good coaching is. But again, I think people take things like it's an attack, whereas we just make jokes and align ourselves with the people that we want to al- align ourselves with. Because the people that we want to align ourselves with probably have either a had a VA and it didn't work, or they wouldn't be feel comfortable. B have potentially trying to charge him full and he didn't feel comfortable they got a poor close rate it felt a bit sle- sleazy and salesy don't want to take um, calls on the phone uh, payment on the phone so on and so forth we're aligning with those people with the content that we put out it's ma- it's just marketing that's that's all it is yeah and I, I described this how I wrote this in an email the other day it's kind of like um, at the moment in that I suppose the again mentoring space I hate that um, that's not where, where, where we are but in the, in that in this space, I, I said it's almost like the um, it's almost like when online coaching first became a thing and it was just meal plans. It was just bro bodybuilders handing out meal plans, and it was black and white. It was you either do it or you don't. And it was almost like the reaction has been almost similar to when flexible dieting came along. And I guess I don't know if anyone watching was around with flexible dieting, but believe it or not, flexible dieting was once not really a thing. It was all about meal plans and it was all about that, yeah. and that was the way you did it, and it was a bodybuilder way or no way. 
And it was almost like the outrage when people started talking about flexible dieting and Alan Aragon came along, started talking about on Facebook groups. He was getting harassed and hounded by all these people being like, you're wrong, you're Lane an idiot. Norton. Lane Norton came along. People were, and people still say that they're wrong and that they're stupid. It's just the different crowd now. There's more the carnivores and fucking idiots like that. But it, it basically, flexible dieting just threw in the face of this black and white thinking of you either on plan or off plan, you know, meal plan or, or you're, you're nobody kind of thing. And that's what it feels like now. It feels like now we've come along and go, well, uh, you can do this a couple of different ways. Like you could do it. You could just eat pop tarts all day. You could just eat, you know, chicken, broccoli and rice. You probably merge the two together. You probably find the right fit. And again, it's not as sexy. It doesn't sell as many books. doesn't sell as many fucking YouTube views and all this sort of stuff, right? It doesn't. But what it does do is it makes it, it, it makes it accessible for a lot more people. Like people started to realize now, okay, online coaching now, you can get great results um, by eating some chocolate and some eating some, some Pop-Tarts. And I think, I, I feel like that's effectively what we're doing. We come along going, hey, do you know what? You don't have to eat all that shit every single day, all day. <laughs> like, if you don't like that, you can have something else. Mm -hmm. um, and the uproar that happened around that time was, was huge again, because people who couldn't adapt, who had their own way of thinking, their own way of doing things and didn't know any other way, maybe weren't smart enough. There was uproar because there was a there was a challenge to the status quo. They didn't like it. That's that's what I feel like it is. Whenever you're dealing with hate online, is you're you're just going against the grain. You're just going against the status quo. And I say this to to a lot of my clients when they get even when they get kicked back. Uh, some of my old fat loss clients kick back from people when they're like, "Oh, I don't want to drink tonight," or "I don't want to go out for for this food. I'm just gonna have a salad." They always get the, "Oh, go on, go on. Why not? Why not?" And all that sort of stuff. And it's because you're standing up against the norm. And I always say to people, look around you. Do you want to be normal? Look at people like being overweight now is just normal. It's just normal. I say this to them all the time. I was like, it's the same with this. Do you want, do you want to have your own business, your own online coaching, your own way of doing things, your own content that's going to stand the test of time? Or do you want to just do what everyone else is doing? Because you're doing what everyone else is doing now and it's not working. So you're going to have to change something a little bit. And, and that's what I think it, it is when you're dealing with, with sort of hate online is it's, if you're doing anything that's kind of out of the ordinary or goes against the grain of what, how we've always done it. Again, it used to happen to me in football all the time. You're going to come up against it. Uh, I would um, just try to embrace it. Uh, you know, try not to, t to take it on board, obviously. Can't take it personally. You, ca you can't take it personally, yeah. I I've been slated on Facebook ads and stuff like that. Um, whatever in it it's it's it says more about them than it does about you and if you are getting hate online it it, it means that people are noticing and, and i would take it as a positive if somebody's going out of their way to to slag slag you off personally um we we've just had we've just had a little bit a little bit of it haven't we which one are you <laughs> well, definitely the brainy one well um not in this case so we've just had a little bit of it and it's like okay Oh, cool. We're obviously doing something to annoy somebody, um, living rent free, but um, it ju it just shows that you the that you're probably doing the right thing and talking to the right people. Um, because if no one, you know, the worst thing is that no one's bothered. As soon as you start to get a little bit of hate, there'll be also some people that love you as well. Um, yeah, for sure. I think you, like the second you put yourself out there in your own content, you say the things that you genuinely believe you'll get people who want to unfollow you, who tell you they're going to unfollow you and all this sort of stuff. But trust me when I say that, that is what you need. Tr like, trust me, trust us. It's the only way that you're going to get those followers up. It's the only way you're going to get those those people that are actually bothered about what you do, what you say. If you just blend in and you just go vanilla and you don't say anything to offend anyone, you're just not going to get what you want out of it. Unfortunately, it's the way the world works. There you go. That's Stand it, for it. something. Uh, subscribe and stuff and like and everything. Do all um, that. Send us, dear, send us a DM on Instagram, BB yeah. members, BB because members. then you'll get um, a link to join the members group, which if is only a hundred pound a month. If you want it, if not, cool. We've no, got an event as well. Definitely do that. Definitely get it. Don't tell them that. Come on. Sales. Get involved. Sales. Reverse psychology. Sales. Don't sign up. Don't sign up. Don't want you in. Don't want you. You definitely don't want it in. So. <laughs>